With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's begin with the question. And in this question, it says that an electric bulb is hanging over a table at a height one meter above it. The illuminance on the table directly below the bulb is forty lux. So the illuminance at a point on the table one meter away from the from the first point will be okay. So first understand what is the intensity and the angle, solid angle also the concept of solid angle also. Uh, so for that suppose uh, there is a source point source of light right here, and this source of light falling on a surface which is here like this. So when the ray of light passes through it like this, and its area vector into this direction. So in that case, there will be a solid angle into that direction, right? Like, like this. So that solid angle will be, say, it is theta. Okay, and the value of solid angle in this case will be solid angle is equal to a cos theta by r square. A is the area of this, and r is the distance from this point to this point. So this is the solid angle. Now, formula of intensity for such case, intensity is equal to flux illuminance. That is F flux illuminance. That is F upon solid angle, which means F r square by a cos theta. And from here we can say that F is equal to I is is an intensity a cos theta by r square. So this is the value of flux illuminance. Now, what is illuminance? Illuminance E is equal to F by A, so which will give us I cos theta by R square. So this is the formula. Now consider the situation of the bulb. Since suppose bulb is right here and it is glowing, right? So just below the table, right here, just below the table, what happens? It is falling on the surface, so its direction will be this, right? And also, area vector of this table will also be in the downward direction, like this. So the angle between these two will be zero degree. So that means illuminance is equal to I into cos zero. Now the distance between the bulb and the table is given is one. So this R is equal to one. So that means it is square of one. So I has came out E. Now in the in the question, illuminance is given as forty flux, forty lux. Sorry. So that means intensity is also equal to forty, right? So this is the value that we have right now. But now they are saying that if it is the point is shifted by this much one meter here, so this is shifted by one meter towards here. So now it will be a new distance from this point. This distance will be. So, if this distance is one, this distance is also one. Then this distance will be square of one plus a square of one. This is root two, and this is theta, right? So again, now illuminance is equal to I cos theta upon square of R. So in this case, R is root two. So I into cos theta. I'm not writing cos theta right now. Cos theta will be one by root two. So it is, and into one by root two. That means one upon root two. So this is so now illuminance E will be equal to I is forty, and this is two root two. Further solving, we get that E is equal to uh, right here. E is equal to. Twenty, or we can say that ten root two, or finally E has come as fourteen point one four, or nearly E is equal to fourteen. Okay, fourteen lux. So this is the new value of illuminance that is one meter away from the point on the table. So the option two is the correct option for this case. So this is about this question. Thank you for watching.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.